Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you some of the craziest modulars I've ever seen. As home prices continue to rise, more and more people are going to look for alternative forms of housing. The more expensive homes get, the more people need affordable options, which leads more companies to start offering something new. Combine the increased interest with advances in technology and automation, and I think the next few years are gonna bring some serious disruption to the traditional housing sector. That's great, but who wants to wait years for new concepts to be rolled out when we need affordable options now. Nobody, that's who. The good news is it's happening already. There are companies right now shaking things up and thinking outside the box, pun intended. If you saw the title of this video, you already know I'm talking about shipping containers, but what you might not know is the variety of container homes already available. What I'm gonna do is talk about some of the benefits of container homes, show you homes at both ends of the price spectrum, then I'm gonna tell you where I think this industry is going, so let's do it. When shipping containers were originally created, they were designed to be movable. They were required to withstand a lot of abuse as they traveled through some of the world's harshest climates. From salt water to freezing temperatures, a shipping container is meant to handle the worst while protecting precious cargo. With more containers being imported than exported, we have an opportunity to reuse something that is desperately looking for a new home, or better yet, to be a new home. To give you an example of where they start out, here's a shipping container in its original state. This container is eight feet wide by 40 feet long and has only ever been used for storage. It's been sitting in this exact spot with zero maintenance since 2010 and never had any problems or leaks. This container recently sold for $5,000 as is and will be continuing its life as a storage unit, but that gives you an idea of fair market value for a container if you wanted to buy one to convert yourself. Since the shipping containers are already built, it makes the construction process simple and efficient. Think of them as life-size Lego blocks and you'll start to see the opportunities and possibilities. According to Hono Mobo, there are few construction methods or building materials that are as durable portable or sustainable, but would anyone really want to live in a shipping container? When you go online and start looking at container homes available, there is a lot to choose from. Just like anything else in life, there are options available at different price points. It only makes sense that we start with something entry level before getting to the showstoppers and get this. They're actually available on Amazon. The home is 320 square feet with a bedroom, living space, kitchen, and bathroom complete with a shower. It's stated in the listing that it arrives fully furnished, and if the pictures are a representation of what comes included, it'll arrive with two sets of bunk beds, a kitchen table, and a couch. This place isn't the most glamorous offering I've ever seen, but it does check the affordability box at $38,950. Not bad. It has nine reviews, but it didn't seem like anyone who reviewed it had actually bought the home. So I would personally be hesitant to order this home without actually seeing it in person. And this is coming from a guy who will buy almost anything off Amazon. I guess I draw the line at buying a new home. This home has the essentials, but one thing I've noticed is people want to see the bells. They want to see the whistles. So let's move on. Hono Mobo is a company that takes the shipping container concept to the absolute extreme. Like when they're finished, it barely looks like a shipping container at all. They're available in Canada and the United States and their products range in size from an eight by 12 shipping container office all the way up to the H05, a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 1600 square foot home. A Hono Mobo can be used as a primary residence, but they also have a laundry list of other possible use cases. The company says they can be used as a laneway home, garage suite, cottage, tiny house, office, or stacked as an apartment or multifamily complex. On their Facebook page, it states that a Hono Mobo will be done 10 weeks after ordering, which would be amazing. Although I am curious if the 10 week timeline is still accurate because most companies are up to their ears in orders right now and a lot of timelines have gone completely out the window. As far as prices go, you aren't gonna get one of these for the same price as the one on Amazon. One look at the two and you know they aren't really even comparable. Besides the office, their prices start at the M1, a one bedroom, one bathroom, 419 square foot floor plan that starts at $134,106. Before before everyone unloads in the comments about the price per square foot and how $134,000 can not be considered affordable, I need to remind you that affordability is relative to location and this is what I would consider a high-end affordable home. If you look at their Facebook page, you'll see that they're delivering to places that are known to have extremely high housing costs. 
Palo Alto, San Jose, Squamish, or places that are remote that make traditional building less feasible like Gambier Island. Are people going to buy the M1 in an area that for the same price they can get a three bedroom, two bathroom house with land? Never say never, but no, probably not. However, in places like Squamish, they make sense. This is an M1 being installed in Squamish as a laneway house. For anyone who doesn't know where that is, it's on the west coast of British Columbia, sandwiched between Vancouver and Whistler. People want to live there, and it's expensive. This unit was installed as a laneway house, most likely for a family member or to generate income to offset the cost of ownership. I tried to find a comparable rent and the closest thing I could find was a one bedroom basement apartment for $1,500 per month. So they're either saving a family member at least that much by having a place for them to live or offsetting their home ownership costs by generating a monthly income. Either way, I think is great because it adds more density to a space that would have otherwise had nothing, hopefully putting a small dent in demand. On the high end, they have the H05, a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 1600 square foot home for around $375,000, which I think rivals any type of construction in terms of looks. This thing is an absolute head turner. If you like a modern look, the Hono Mobile is a very, very cool option. And when we compare it to the home available on Amazon, we see that container homes can be very simple or extremely luxurious. But are they just a fad? I really think that companies that are able to find ways to offer more affordable options are going to thrive in the coming years. Manufactured homes using assembly lines, container homes reusing an existing structure, and boxable using automation are just a few of the tactics companies have implemented to give themselves a competitive advantage. Whether the home itself is more affordable or it's used as a secondary dwelling to generate income to make the main home more affordable, I think companies that realize the potential of the new affordable segment will be in a great position going forward. Yes, there are still roadblocks. Regulations in different areas still prevent a lot of what these companies are trying to do from being utilized. Every video, I get a handful of comments saying something along the lines of, these are stupid, you can't put them anywhere. Well, first of all, if you couldn't put them anywhere, then the companies wouldn't exist. Right? Second, I think we're going to see a shift to more cities allowing alternative forms of housing to create more density and affordability. Hono Mobile has on their Facebook page, cities are taking bold steps to fight urban sprawl by allowing more density in established neighborhoods. A Hono Mobile anticipates this trend, it's zoning friendly right from our factory. I think it's just a matter of time. Container homes come in all shapes and sizes. Today I looked at two being offered at either end of the price spectrum, but there are more at every price and quality in between. As homes get more expensive and people look for more affordable options, I think this is a segment that could fill some of that void, specifically the ones that look cool and have a livable design. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.